Hello. Why are we looking at a bunch of daisies? Well, I always thought it would be fun to take every weapon in Samurai to 999 VP, but there's no, like, reason to. <laughs> there's no in-game reward for that, but there should be. And what would the badges look like if there were? Only PvP players get all the cool weapon badges. I don't know how they would differentiate them, but independently of that, I've also always wanted to try drawing all weapons from memory. So I'm gonna do that today. This is my little Inktober challenge, except I'm doing it all in one sitting. And um, if I draw them from memory, they'll look just messed up enough to differentiate them. It'll be just like the PvP badges, but like a little weird. So I'm gonna do that for every weapon except the Grisco weapons, because I don't care about them. <laughs> They're OP. So I've got 58 weapons to draw. I'm gonna draw them in roughly the internal order. Oh, and I'm also gonna have to remember every weapon, because I'm not even looking at a list of them. That shouldn't be um, too hard. Alright, so the question is, is a splatter shot bottle an egg shape, or is it more like a tube? I think it's more like flat on the sides, something like that. A pill. I know that um, the badges are all like flat 2D schematic, but I think I might add a little volume. Do a little bit of a three quarter angle. That's my hot art tip. Just draw everything at three quarter angles. All right, so the splatter shot has like this scoop shape. And I think it goes like this. I think that looks about right. I think maybe it's got like a cap here to fill it up with. And then I don't know what's at the front of it. Does it have a sight? And then god the handle part. I'm just gonna like draw the same one every time. Alright, that's my sketch. I won't always use my sketch layer, but some things I need to like work out. Oops, I made um, the spout part way more tapered. Oh, well, that's kind of funny. <laughs> the line art version is gonna like look worse than my sketch very frequently. I'm gonna end up liking the sketch more. That's art, baby. I gotta get all these done in under like five minutes each, roughly. That would mean I could wrap up in four to five hours. Oh yeah, and that includes color. We're gonna color all these, same layer, quick and dirty. Uh, maybe grab the yellow from Hero Shot, actually. That looks fine. And we're gonna need a blue, something like that. Like a more shadowed yellow. Um, yeah, this is looking like a splatter shot. I don't know, something's definitely missing. Maybe it's got more going on in the back. <laughs> That's not it. Oh well, we'll call that done. But then here's the real um, pro move a shortcut for layer style stroke. Bam! I set that up beforehand. Now it'll really look like a badge. I think I'll do Splattershot Jr. next, and I'll try drawing it without the sketch first. I feel like it's roughly a rectangle until it gets to the nozzle part. And it goes out like this. Ugh. Drawing straight diagonal lines. I've drawn Splattershot Jr. before. Maybe that's an unfair advantage. I did it for a plaza post back in Splatoon 2. It was the Inkling vs. Octoling Splatfest. And I did a version of that meme that's like when the race war starts and you have to shoot Tony Hawk. Except it was when the race war starts and you have to splat Pearl for Team Octopus. And instead of the gun, I had a splatter shot junior. All right, the junior is going to have a cap on top, but it's not going to be like a twist off kind because they designed it for younger children and they need parts that you can't lose. So it's going to be the kind that has like a little tether and then a ring beneath it. Hopefully I didn't just make that up. What else? It's like transparent, so we'll try to capture that a bit. We'll draw like the inside. This is um, going to be a little bit harder to like visualize <laughs> the internal shape of it than I thought. Hmm, might just fudge it at this point. Yeah, that pretty much looks like a junior. Perfect. Even better than Nintendo's version. Some are saying, I didn't say that, but some people are. Okay, here's the problem with Aerospray. It's got the ink tank on top with Sheldon's face on it. And then it's got a wire that goes out backwards like this. And then it's got like a very tiny little trigger because it's like a spray, a, uh, what's it called? An airbrush. 
and it's got the part where it shoots out, of course. And then what happens in the middle of it, I have like no idea. It's got some kind of body to it, maybe like some pipes, and then maybe like a guard around where the nozzle is for like resting it on things. I think that looks about right. Also, it has to have something to hold on to. Let's just put like some kind of weird block here. I don't know, I'm pretty sure this is missing something also. I'll just give it a nice silvery mid-tone and then maybe some highlights after. Oh yeah, a little bit of highlighting. More volume on these silver weapons. I don't know if where I'm highlighting is going to make any sense, but... Ah, actually this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty sure the Ammonites logo is on this, just all the time. Maybe I'm making that up. Alright, three down. Let's see, tap out wanted 52 gal next. Dang, worm wants me to go right to dynamo. Alright, 52, 96, and then dynamo. 52, it's got this big drum on it. That's the thing about it. It reminds me of like a water cooler. And maybe it's even got like a handle. And then the nozzle comes out a little wee bit. Because it's not the 96. And then the nozzle, I think, is where it gets the like... I don't know what the holes are for, but it's got the little divots on it. I know the 96 gal has a hole. It has like a sight on it, but the 52 doesn't. So I don't want anything to like go above the barrel, but maybe something goes above the barrel. Oh well. Oh yeah, look at that implied perspective. Weapons that have like a cylinder shape where things curve around are gonna be fun. Oh, and the color should help a bit. Let's see. 52 gal is like a nice kind of purple. <laughs> this is so silly. <sighs> Let's do a little cheating. And then a little erasing. Oh, but the nozzle is like a completely different material. On 96, it's got that like PVC or whatever. All right, this is how we do it. And long. All right, and then it's got, I'm just gonna like make it stick up from here, I think. Actually, I don't remember if it's on the back of the weapon or the front. <laughs> That might be an issue. I still want to draw the circles. Oh yeah, tab out. I could have invited you to also try drawing these from memory. You could have seen who did them better. I've seen lots of Pokemon drawing streams like that. All right, so this weird pipe part. I'm not actually familiar with what material it's supposed to be, but I know it's kind of sparkly. Let's just do like triangles. I'm not sure about the pattern something has. I'm just gonna draw triangles. Recognizably 52 and 96, hopefully. Worm wishes I could do digital art. You totally can, it's easy. Just um, open up Microsoft Paint or whatever you have and make some lines when you're doing digital art. There's one thing about Dynamo that I know for sure, and it's that the handle, it's got a nub on the end. Kind of like a baseball bat, maybe. And then it's got a, a whole mess of like gears and stuff. I'm just gonna make it steampunk. This is a terrible sketch of a gear, but I'll do it better. It's got some kind of column here. And then, ooh boy, this is gonna be too big. It's okay, cause it's a huge weapon. Maybe like another gear over here. And the mechanism on most rollers is gonna be on one side. And then what I'm excited to draw on Dynamo is similar to 52 and 96, it's got those divots. You're very used to seeing them because of how often it runs out of ink. Cues are not easy to draw. I'm not a steampunk artist, don't at me. Alright, Dynamo, I'm definitely going over time <laughs> compared to other weapons. That's okay, we'll make it up elsewhere. Dynamo's one of the more complicated ones. Actually, a little bit of like sag in the middle might be kind of cool. It's like buckling under its own weight. And here are the like golf ball divots. Oh, Worm likes it. I could draw the mains and Tapo could draw the cycling kits. Here's an idea. Oh yes, because every weapon will only have two kits. We've all finally accepted that as a community. We need splash and sploosh. Only need to draw them once, basically, except for the head. And then it's obviously got the dial. And it's got a tube in the middle. I don't know what's on the back of it. Maybe it just kind of ends like that. And very important, it's got like these two little bolts and then the big scoop. Imagine just drawing that flat and not actually drawing the bull part. 
Why would Nintendo do that? Does the arc have like holes in it maybe for weight? Let's put them on anyway. I forget if it has like writing or anything on the tube. I might be thinking of Splushneo. I'll make it like a little label. Line work is always one of the more soothing parts about drawing. You're kind of just going over what you already did, but more refined. Well, ideally more refined. Alright, and then we will conspicuously stop there for a second. Actually, wait, I should color it in. And then we'll conspicuously stop there. What is that dial measuring? Pressure, I guess. Dang, I know. If they turn up the pressure on Sploosh and let it shoot farther, it'll be like that time that Squeezer got the full range for all shots. Alright. Move that over. I want the scoop to be extra big. Ooh, I did not do this ellipse properly. Drawing ellipses is a thing that you learn if you take any class on like perspective. It's very important to get them right. And also like really technical. Like there's a, a way to get them mathematically perfect. It involves using like multiple compasses. Where there's this trick with a sliding piece of paper. Your perspective like will not ever look right unless you get a circle in perspective correctly. That's good enough for my purposes. Let's get a ring around that bad boy. Let's get a little like hole down here. It's looking like a speaker. Alright, it looks like sploosh. Oh, I, <laughs> I have the dial of it kind of floating in space. Dang, I'll have to fin uh, fix that on splash as well. Whoops. Alright, I've mostly avoided having massive wrong layer blunders. I'm gonna have so many layers in this file. Oh yeah, and the classic, um, if you undo something it changes what layer you're targeting. That's the bane of my existence. Alright, now here's the only difference between Splash and Sploosh. They just took a part off the sploosh matic Imagine being a Splash main. Your main is just the Sploosh that's missing a piece. That's what, like, the devs thought of it. The Splat Pro and Splat Nova are gonna be rough. I, like, do not know what to do with these weapons. I know the general shape of it is, like, kind of a triangle. And definitely the, um, front part. It's pointy. Maybe it's got some like fins on it. I feel like it's gotta have some kind of like counter triangle shape. Maybe like a fin over here. Maybe like a cap on the back since I keep trying to draw caps where you fill up. The thing with the splatter shots is they're all based on like believable water guns. Alright, uh, this is gonna be a very cursed splatter shot pro. I know some weapons gotta have like a round part that you pump. Like, uh, Real world super soaker. Maybe it's Nova. Well, we tried. Now, what color is this thing? Oh, I'm giving this like a pink color. This is like the berry splatter shot pro. Let's give it a bit of shading. Shading will trick the viewer into thinking it looks good. I know Nova is more bubbly. It's got like an orb. And then if any weapon has the like round part to hold that you pump back and forth, it's gotta be Nova. I'm probably going to confuse it partially with um, an Aki Nova. I know they're different. I feel like I'm missing something. I think it must have another orb in the middle. Let's give it another orb for funsies. Yeah, I like it better already. You cannot see that highlight. It's better. Just so you know, it's really round. Alright, Jet Squelcher. This always looks to me like something that would be at Home Depot. It's like a nail gun or something. The important thing is that it's long. People will get that it is a jet just from it being long. Oh yeah, and then the bottom of it. So here's the problem. I don't want to just make it like a bigger version of the Dooley sculptures. I think there's something different about them. But I know one of them has like a battery pack or something at the bottom. Or like a cartridge spot. Maybe it's both. I bet I'm also thinking of the dual squelcher. Remember that weapon? It doesn't exist anymore. They cut it in half. Alright, we definitely gotta pick up the pace, so I won't fuss too much over this one. It's long. What more do you want? And it's got a nice, like, blue-green color. Yeah, I'm gonna feel like this, like, cartridge I put at the bottom of it is definitely a thing on the sculpture dualies, and maybe not at all on the jet sculpture. 
Yeah, I'm going to be so mad when I see what's actually different about the dualies on the jet. I feel like I shouldn't own it. These are deep lore Splatoon weapons, because the dualies used to be a shooter. <laughs> Alright, for all the dualies, I'm just going to draw them once, then cheat. <laughs> the magic of layers. I should slim the body down when I do the line work. This is looking chunky. It's okay, the important thing is that this one will be red instead of like sea green. Alright, that's looking a little more sleek. I'm like paper thin. Alright, now for the studio magic. Actually, let me make this one the background one. Look at that. Bam, dually sculptures. Look at them, unmistakable. You show that to anyone on the street and they'll be like, oh, the dually sculptures from Splatoon 3. People are being Finn Mertens in my chat right now. But Robo Jade also had some favorites. Dreadringer. I could skip to Dreadringer. Alright, Dreadringer is a funny little mop bucket. I think the bucket that's in the back is the flat one, where your inkling like holds it. That's the part with the wheels. That would make sense because it's got like the handle. And the wheels are gonna be like here. I may have that backwards, but. Alright, got the skinny bucket, bigger bucket. That's the essence of Dreadringer. I feel like the big bucket also has to have some kind of handle on it though. All the buckets have a part where your inkling like holds the bottom for leverage. The little wheels are my favorite part though. If I get any of the new weapons wrong, it's only because they haven't been in the game very long. That's my excuse as a long time Splatoon fan. A mop ink brush to go with the Dreadringer. What do we do though? We're doing a new Splatana, hopefully. Maybe they can make a mop. <gasps> or an oar. An oar or Splatana would go really well with um, samurai lore. This Dreadringer is looking a little silly, but the colors are really going to make it. That bright yellow. Pretty sure the top, the narrower bucket, is silver. Alright, I think I finally stopped putting off the L3 and H3 and Squeezer. We'll finish off shooters. L3. No pressure or anything. It's not like this is my main. gonna have a weird shaped nozzle because it's like a hose with different settings. I'll just give it like a vague octagon kind of shape. And what's a hose nozzle look like? I've suddenly like never seen a hose in my life. And then I know exactly what the hose coils look like. There's gonna be like three and also one that goes like further down and around. It's not quite wound perfectly. And then, more importantly, there's the casing for the hose, and this is where I'm probably going to mess it up. And one thing I know for sure about H3 is it has a different sort of lever on the back. H3 is one that like goes way off like that, like a spigot, but L3 doesn't have that. <laughs> Alright, once again, the colors are going to have to carry. I'll, like, alternate straight and squiggly sides. Maybe, um, the hose has kind of got that going on. Alright, um, hmm. this is a little bit defying, like, physical space with the way I did the hose, but... Alright, once again, I know there's some kind of pattern on this hose, but I don't remember what it is. A crosshatch. I could try it. I feel like now it looks hairy. Crosshatch as it is. Okay, yeah, now it looks more like scaly. Like a hose. Tap it with a good suggestion. So you showed me that, be like, oh, it's my weapon. Maybe. Alright, this calls for some polygonal lasso tool, I say. Let's swoop this all the way over here. Oh my god, good call to tap out. I have completely forgotten in zap until now. I probably would have remembered that one once I got to S Blast. Like, oh yes, the other Nintendo weapon. Wait a minute. Can I extend some kind of structure support for that hose? And simple as. Actually, mm, the way I did this doesn't make sense. Hmm. We'll just deal with that looking weird. And then the part that I was talking about. It's got like a plate that you gotta twist. Every time you shoot it, that's why it shoots so slow. A little bit of a fake Nintendo fan. But I've never like actually owned an ends up or spent very long looking at it. So this might be very wrong. It's not a weapon in Smash Bros. like S-Blast. Pretty sure it's got like a casing that comes down around the middle of it and leaves the back empty. Fun fact, the original NZAP in Japan was just a straight up like Old West revolver. You can get away with selling it like that here. 
I'm gonna do it, just throw a few lines on the body of it. That'll make it look busier. Oh yeah, on the back of it is a tube. The like, whole thing's a tube. I think that helps bring out the unzappiness. Squeezer. Do I even need to sketch squeezer? I know how a bottle is shaped. It's gonna have a label. Doesn't really make sense for the stripes to go that way. Wow, what am I doing? <laughs> I hope no squeezer mains are watching this. And then is there even like a hole on the top? I'm not gonna draw a hole. I feel like the point of it is it pops the um, cork out at you over and over. I went into this one all confident, like I know what a bottle of wine looks like. That was a very warped looking bottle. I would not want to open that. Now we move on to blasters, which is unfortunately kind of like Shooter's Part 2. I'll start with the Luna though, that's at least got a fun shape. Orb at the back. Egg shape. If Dr. Eggman played Splatoon, this is the weapon he would pick. And then another orb at the top of it, for some reason. And then of course it is another weapon with like a transparency. Well, I went over my outline a little bit. But oh well. Bam! So I look like a Luna or what? <laughs> Hopefully those lines aren't too distracting. Alright, blaster and range blaster, I can reuse part of it, I'm sure. Blaster has a tank that goes up diagonally. It's got like a pop cam. And then what? A big barrel head. And then a teeny little nozzle. Where the, the shots actually shoot out. And then here's the question. Do both the blasters have flames on them? I think they both have flames. And in the middle of the weapon, I have like no idea, except I'm pretty sure there's like a spring in there somewhere. This weapon looks short as heck. It's okay, we, we're just contrasting it with the range blaster. Yeah, that's it. God, this is so unbalanced. It's so funny. Maybe there's more coming at the back. Maybe that's the problem. I need something. Yeah, yeah. I think it's got one of these. One of those parts that like you rest against your shoulder. You need that for the knockback. Oh, it's too blood red. Making it look like a Diet Coke. But the real fun will come in with the flames. And I feel like the face of it might have some hatching. And now fire! Ten-year-old's favorite thing to draw. Look at it, it looks metal as hell. The thing about Range Blaster is it's got that egg shape. Kind of like Luna. Yeah, something like that. I need room for the spring part to go further. We got there. Alright, bigger barrel on the Range Blaster means we can draw even more fire. If Guy Fieri played Splatoon, this is the weapon he would pick. Range Blaster done. I maybe put too much fire on it. Clash is gonna have the issue I was having with L3, where like I know it's in the middle of it, but then I don't know what holds it together, you know? Or like what's above and below the crayons. The crayons, if you're southern. I think it's got like a plate on the front, kind of squarish, with a hole through the crayon to shoot out of, and probably a big metal cylinder leading to that plate. And we'll give it a plate on the back also. The crayons are gonna be what really sells this drawing. Everyone knows what a crayon looks like. Brightest color for the crayon flesh or whatever. Wax. Looks like a clash to me. Look at that nice, like, uh, gatling of crayons. What's next? Rapid and Rapid Pro. It's got like a taper. It tapers to the back, wider in the front. Shaped like a coffin. It's got some, like, overlapping plates. The important part here is the snout. Which I also feel like has a weird kind of L3 shape. It's like not quite a circle. Something like that. I probably should have made it thicker. That's more like it. Maybe we'll do a little like... It kind of looks like it's got a mouth now. Alright, what else does it need? It's got some like speckly texture on it. Maybe we'll try a little like crosshatch again. I don't know what kind of a surface this is supposed to be. An actual rapid. Once again, it looks kind of hardware story. I and mean, there's definitely some kind of like, I don't know, some greebles in here. Greebles, a technical term. Maybe we'll give this cool nozzle part a little more shading. It's like my favorite part. It's not that long. It's again, always thinking of the Photoshop I did. Alright, I just lassoed it in this shape, but I feel like a kind of hexagon is what it actually is. And the thing that's really distinctive on this neck is the holes. As I definitely remember. I thought I got the structure or like the shape around the holes right. I don't know. I could just leave it like that. Yeah, what the heck. Looks like holes to me. S-Blast got that shoulder piece 
for sure, because of how you're supposed to hold it. And it's basically a big tube, except that they gave it like a huge taper that it doesn't actually have in real life, the super scope. And it's gonna need a part on top that like slides back and forth. I think that's what makes the click sound when you jump. Oh wait, no, it literally has a scope on it maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I could have, uh, mm. it is looking like a pool noodle. Let's get it some structure down here. I'm gonna pull the um, it's a new weapon card again, even though it's a Nintendo peripheral that dates back to the Super Nintendo. Maybe I'll shorten up this handle. Maybe yeah, that's the issue. Oh, and it's probably got like some reddish something or other somewhere. A little implied Nintendo logo. Finally don't have to draw things with gun handles for a bit. But now instead I have another problem with what the bottom of a roller looks like. <laughs> I remembered it for Dynamo, but I don't think I'm gonna get it right for a lot of these other ones. I know it's got a bottle on it somewhere for the ink. All the like splatter shot and um, splat roller and splat charger weapons have got a very obvious ink bottle placed on them. And it's probably yellow and blue, just like the uh, splatter shot is. I know that middle column is very wrong, but oh well. I'll give it a little bit of shading, although I should probably start doing less of that. Flat colors only. Why did I just do that with my mouse? They always look better with the outline. And it's like a real badge. And then I'll give this carbon a really dynamic shape. I know it's based on like bike parts. I don't know exactly how that is incorporated. All I know is that when the roller is dry, it's like a bunch of um, spokes. What would a bike have? Maybe it's got like t a two-pronged thing going on, like the steering column on a bike. And then I'll just do the like bike handle. <laughs> I gave all the guns the same handles, and I'll be giving all the rollers the same handle. Yeah, look at how little it is. The little bro roller. I would tap out impressed by my um, single-side versus double-sided rollers. Factoid. This one's roller's gotta stay on, because you use it as a bike, I guess. And it's got some kind of weird pattern, so I'll go with my usual crosshatch. This is like it's blushing. Alright, I feel like those go a long way. Just communicate, like, weird texture. Alert. I think on a small size, these are looking better. <laughs> when you don't see all the details I got wrong as much. It's like, yeah, those are Splatoon weapons. Those are my friends. Flingza, okay. Things is easy. It's got a big cartridge in the middle. That is literally all I remember about it. Just a rectangle. Oh, and part of it is um the pen blade. The, the nib. Maybe given that, I'll give it like a little kind of a pen grip. Maybe like one of those clips. Things totally has one of those, right? And then the usual roller shape. Except I feel like it's gonna get interrupted in the middle, maybe because of the extending part. And then honestly, I don't think the pen nub, even though I want to draw it, I don't think that's like visible in its default mode. Like where would I put it here? That might be um, the spirit of it, but I don't think you actually see that part. I'll go halfway. Oh, this um, perspective is way wrong. <laughs> I made the roller like, well, maybe it's like that for real, actually. The roller is going the opposite direction of the cartridge box. It's because it's being vertically swung right now. Is it this burgundy? I don't know, I just want to make everything burgundy. <laughs> Alright, looks like a weird pen thing to me. Oh yeah, big swig I'm gonna make huge. Oh, crucial detail, it's a bendy straw. The part that connects it. So we gotta give it a little squiggle. The part of the bendy straw that bends is the squiggly part. And then I guess we'll just have the straw go into the big gulp. You know, I can't actually remember if the big gulp is like the very middle of the roller or not. We'll just say that it is. And we'll make this thing as big as humanly possible. <laughs> it's gonna be so off-centered. Oh, actually maybe that's good. Maybe what I really want is to have like a middle structure for the big gulp to be attached to. Should have like a cup holder part probably. If I were a big swig, what kind of a handle would I have? I'll just have it go down and make some, like, I don't know, additional grips on it. The straw will give some, like, stripes. This is the bendy strawiest bendy straw I've ever seen. I don't know why I think it's purple, it just feels right. Nobody questioned the random rings I put around it. 
It's gotta have something down there. Well, this row of rollers, I really varied which um, angle they're put at. All right, I guess I'm doing chargers now. Let's see, big long bottle. Hmm, this already feels wrong. Bottle should be like above whatever the structure of it is. And no scope, critically, because there's no splatter scope in Salmon Run. Hashtag restore the splatter scope. <laughs> that is a quick and dirty splat charger. They should definitely have something on the front. It should be E-Leader next, because that's the other weapon that should have a scoped version, but doesn't. And then it's got like a gas pump with a reader on it and what all. And this is where my um, not being a very frequent driver and not filling up gas, <laughs> filling up gas cars often, is gonna come back to bite me. Cause I like cannot visualize a gas pump at all actually. Maybe there's like a guard, like one of those circular guards. Yeah, that feels right. The part that you like shove into your car. Copyright. Oh. right. Maybe it just goes straight from here. Maybe it's like that. Maybe like something extra for stability. All right, a little weird looking. I gave it like um, a xenomorph head. Color and outline. They all look stupid before I do that. This is another one where it's like, well, I just don't play E-Leader. I'm honorable. Just kidding, E-Leader's a cool weapon. But for anyone who happens to not like E-Leaders, don't worry, I'm not one of them. Oh, there's definitely like a coiled something or other I'm missing. Maybe from the tank. Yeah, that coil's all needed to be like convincing for me. You just forgot one of those. Scriffer should be fun. It is pretty much just a bottle of cleaning fluid with some like tubes taped to it. I remember the duct tape part. I'm gonna want to really draw this um, bottle. Oh, there's like a cool, it's got like a cool swoop shape. So I can't forget the duct tape. Something like that. And then I'm gonna have to design whatever's on this label. Let's see, what do bottles of detergent have on them? Usually some like starburst pattern, some like sun rays, some fake Splatoon language. Anyone see the music video for Brand New Day by Sting? At the end of the video, the twist ending is that it was a commercial for laundry detergent the whole time. It's like new day brand. Scriffer always makes me think of that for some reason. Why did I work so hard on that label? <laughs> it's okay, it pays off. Alright, we're finally getting to bamboo. Let's see, multiple segments for each of the T parts? I think no. But how many in the middle? I'm gonna go with four. It's like it's made of bones. That's bamboo. And then I know it's got the cool flap at the end. I kind of did it a different way than the other guns. Like facing away from the camera. Mm, it's kind of too late to fix that. I got some water. Thinking about all the goo in the bamboozler and the goo tuber. Made me thirsty. Siphon's gotta have some ridges on it for where you squeeze it. And then the tubes make like a double loop. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be really hard to do freehand. I'll just do some racing, it's fine. And shoot, now I'm gonna think that the clip is actually on the front. We'll just put them both places, and I'm sure to be right on one of them. It stinks, because the it feels like where they should hold it is on the squeeze bottle part. <laughs> but I know that's not how it works. Oh, it's like holding this clip in place. It's just floating. Man, GooTuber is surprisingly complicated. What is its deal? Poor GooTuber. I feel like I could have done it more justice. I should have looked at it recently. Shoot, I have not thought about how Sniper Rider looks. Like at all. Okay, okay. I know it's got the three cartridges in the middle. That's a start. Let's do a big straight line. Like a pencil. A mechanical pencil, I have to remember that part. Here's where the cartridges will go. Or actually, maybe it's got five of them. It takes five shots. And a little pencil head coming out. Ooh, should it have like... I don't think it's the kind of pencil that is segmented like that. I don't know, maybe it is. Man, Splatoon has a lot of weapons, you guys. Mini Splatling. <laughs> I forget if it tapers like that. Maybe it should taper less, and then I'll have more room for, um, like the spokes or whatever. Well, I'm gonna- I'm coming to realize that I'm about to butcher Splatlings. I'm so sorry, Splatling players. I can see the finish line. And I'm just gonna start trying to get these done. What else? I feel like a bottle on top. 
It's gotta have a little handle, because your inkling holds every spotlight with two hands. There are few. Can't forget that part. And then maybe it has another little handle on the back. Shoot, maybe the barrel is actually, or the bottle is actually beneath it. How do you even like trigger a spotlight? Maybe the controls are on the back. The hawk song is just my brain right now. Maybe we'll say it has some like spare something or others on it. Spare tanks. <laughs> it's so silly. I mean, I kind of wish this was a weapon in Splatoon, but I don't think that it is. It looks like a bunny rabbit. Alright, heavy spotlight. This at least I know it's got the big tank, kind of like a 52 gal house. For as little as I've spent looking at gun type things, I've probably spent even less looking at spotlight gun type things in my life. An artist is only as good as the stuff they've looked at. <laughs> the middle of this is so bad. I'm just shamelessly gonna leave it as a rectangle. Man, you'd think I'd be so familiar with these after watching my inkling hug them so much. Maybe that's the problem. Usually the arms are all wrapped around here. I repeat, I'm so sorry to spotling players. But you know, maybe they wouldn't be that good at trying me there. Tank part very big on Hydra. Oh, only three. Three barrels. Maybe I'm just tired of drawing so many. But that would help make them a lot thicker. Also having them fit on the weapon. And then there's some big old fake letters down this barrel. That much I know for sure. Let's throw like a backwards L on there. That'd be nice and chunky. I think I do Nautilus now. That one's nice and sleek on the outside. Big old snail shell shape. I'm pretty sure the actual gun part is kind of like comes out of the bottom of it. This is just the golden ratio weapon. You know what, even if spotlings don't have three or fewer barrels, I think I'm just gonna start drawing them with three <laughs> for simplicity. And draw the standard spotling handle on it and like nothing else. The other part you hold on to is on the inside, we'll say. Dude, let's get rid of this line. It's got like a dome front to it, I think. It says something like right around here. The rest of it will just be drawn some fat highlights. Look how shiny it is. I won't apologize to all of us players, they should like that one. Ballpoint? It's definitely got a simple like pen shape. And then what the heck does the back or the top or the bottom of it look like? <laughs> well, the reason that it's got a end part somewhere, say right here. I just look at splatlings like they're picnic baskets. And it's got more of a straight back kind of shape to it. I like putting labels on things. A lot of these that are based on like art supplies probably have stuff like that on them. How the heck does the little guys, the little extra nubs inside a ballpoint, how does one of them line up with the exit when the others aren't? Can't explain that. No wonder this weapon does so much like clicking and whirring around. Heavy at it. It's definitely got like a square box at the back of it. This time I will not be lazy for drawing a rectangle. It actually has one of those. For like where the cartridges are or whatever. I wonder if Heavy Edit still has multiple barrels actually. Since it's got kind of a pointy front. Maybe they're just really close together. Let's make this box fatter. Since it has to actually have stuff inside it. Oh, and then it's got like a chain of highlighter cartridges that feed into the gun part. I'll draw a slightly different shaped handle each time so it looks like I know what I'm doing. I want to say there's another sort of tank part back here. I don't know. Just trying to balance things out. Too phallic. I don't know what dicks you're looking at that have like three nubs at the front. Oh, I see what you mean. Well, that's what I drew. Cut print. Buckets now. Alright, bucket. That's getting a little too blob blobbery. Oh, and the vanilla one has got like a cool gradient to it. Maybe a part that like wraps around the front, like so. Don't ask me why. Better leverage, maybe. Alright, check out my sick gradient. Three colors. That's all I need. That's some flag in the LGBT community. Try saw share. That one's nice and simple. Man, the straight sideways view of Tri Slasher is like too easy. I'm glad I'm showing the openings on them. This is literally just three vertical openings. 
It's kind of like a part for your kids to grip onto. I kind of made that look like a quarter note, actually. I always thought these looked so much like sandcastle toys. I can't believe they're not both this and the other tri-slusher. The volume. I am bringing 3D objects to life right now. This is all it takes. And then we get to the handle and it's just going to be like flat yellow. Machine is another one with like a tapered coffin shape. Is it kind of like convex on top? I want to say that it is. Like I want to say that a ring that even like sticks up from the top of it a little bit. And what else? Probably another handle up here. And it's got a little feet, I'm pretty sure. Because it's like a portable washing machine. And it's two-tone. Gray and beige, I want to say. Make this machine extra clean looking. Yeah, it's new from the store. Let's see, I was like almost drawing a blob on accident earlier, so this shouldn't be too hard. Let's start with the back. And it feels like show whoop. Hold on. This may take a lot of attempts actually. Hmm. That's a little exaggerated, but I don't hate it. It's gonna look like a Pelipper beak. I want to say it's got some like holes. It's for drainage. I don't know, I just want to give it like a third handle to grip. Just in case you need it. Slosher, try, machine, blob. Red ringer. That's all the buckets, right? Alright, dooleys. <laughs> we do a little late trolling. Putting X1 in its own special section. Jerry can. I think those are flat on the bottom, so I can stand up. And lots of room inside it for the oven part. And I'm pretty sure it still has grates over it. Maybe it handles also here. What for to hold on to? Such small handles for such a big lug. Oh, Tablet likes it. I think it should have like a little mercury thermometer on it, maybe. I don't think it actually gets that though. Let's give it one. It's gonna be just like spushomatic. It's not a coin slot, it's a thermometer. Yo, it's hot. And a bunch of ugly green. Or I mean, forest. Beautiful forest green. Oh, now the thermometer kind of looks like an eye. I gave it a face. Let's give it some heat waves, just so people know what it's about. No other weapon gets that. Spot do leaves, the like tank on them goes down, I'm pretty sure. And what the heck is going on with the rest of the gun? Couldn't tell ya. I don't know, a trigger in here somewhere. Maybe the tank is actually like up here. That's looking closer to right. Yeah, it should this should be a handle actually. Hmm, that looks a little silly. But I think I've got the gist. I want to say they're green on the front, or maybe it's the bottle part that's green. Maybe I'll just throw green everywhere. Now I'm second guessing myself. Let's throw some pink in there to balance it out. Splatoon two colors. Dapples. I know there's a toothbrush involved. I think it faces backwards. The toothbrush is what you flick to make yourself do the teeniest little dodge roll. And the top of it, I'm pretty sure, is like a situation kind of like this. And then there's a bottom arm. We can do the toothbrush, or maybe it just is the toothbrush. And I like some symmetry. Part of it is just floss. Where the heck do you hold these things? Maybe just you grip the top part. Let's just do a straight toothbrush. I know how to draw those. I brush my teeth. And then the floss will connect it to here. And it's totally not missing anything. Oh, they kind of look like ladybugs. I like my dapples. Glugas I could do. Alright, very chunky body to the use. Because it's gotta like have space inside to hold the glue sticks. And the glue guns have like a little guard on them for you to prop them up. Let's put some like spikes on top of it. Those are more like cat ears. I love this like indigo I gave it. Glue guns are like GameCube color. Hmm, I maybe made them more hollow than they actually are, but it's okay because the outline will take some of that away. Oh right, Tetris. Those are based on basketball shoes. Alright, these are weird. <laughs> I've looked at them before, if only to figure out why they look so weird. Don't ask me what part of a shoe each part of these corresponds to. The only part other than this like goofy sole is there's a loop. And I feel like the loop might face forward, actually. That feels right. The loop that you like pull on on the back of the shoe. So they're backwards, basically. Maybe the back of it is more just standard dooley stuff. There might only be four of these. Let's go with that. Hopefully the color really brings this one together. 
where dark slash light tetras are like dark and where they're light is pretty confusing because they're literally just switched. These are dark tetras, of course. I kind of want to put some holes in them. That's what I do and I don't know what else to do with a weapon. Oh, this is going to look really weird with the way I did the transparency. They really cover up the whole of the batch. If I were doing this authentically, or if I really wanted them to look like badges, the um, white outline that goes around this paint splatter would also go around the outside of the black outline that goes around the weapons. That would take a little too much fussing. Brello's next. There's only three of those. Wait. And then there's only four... Ugh, I must be forgetting, like, two weapons. This is a grid of 6x10, right? How about promises I'm on track? I don't know, I must have, like, miscounted. Oh, the brushes! I never did ink brush and octobrush. There's not... Oh, uh, that's right, there's three brushes now. <laughs> I'll just put paint brush up here or something. I'll put um, tri stringer up there, because tri stringer number one. Anyway, where was, where was I? A tapered sort of uh, paint tube. I'm pretty sure the brush part just comes right out of there. It's got some kind of handle. Wow, I made this really long. Yeah, I'm so embarrassed I skipped right from rollers to chargers. I forgot about the noble brush. Octobrush seems like it would have a nice wooden handle. <laughs> I've made the um, ink brush way bigger than that. Let's give it a little hole in the end for hanging up. Let's give it some like ornate business here. A little mustache or something. It's still way smaller than the ink brush. Nah, yeah, whatever. Sometimes things are just scaled funky. It's like when Pokemon icons are next to each other and like Landorus looks tiny. Alright, sorry I drew you so small on the brush. I do not think you're lesser than Ink Brush. Not at all. Let's see. So what's this thing got going on? Let's start with the like middle shape. How the heck does it go from that to where the bristles come out? Alright, that's close. And the most important part of the bristles is the cute little like dimple it's got. Wouldn't look at all like a brush without that. And I should just find Nautilus for my metallic colors. Brush is done. Those are easy. <laughs> Why did I make ink brush such like a long, shapely leg? Ink brush is a tall glass of water now. I feel like I want to start with the spines of the Brella. Pretty sure it has those. Brella handle situation. I actually know what the undercovers looks like, I'm pretty sure. It's got like a real Brella handle. Nintendo Brella, weirdly enough, just has a stick. Splat Brella must have something else going on that looks like more like a Splatoon weapon, like a trigger. Yeah, we're gonna make this one part gun, because the other two are silly. This is literally just like a penguin weapon from Batman, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, does the vanilla Splat Brella have anything cool going on on top of it? I'll give it a triangle. I forget if the regular Splat Brella has any color to it. Let's throw some yellow on there, just in case. Now if Undercover Brella doesn't have like a regular curved umbrella handle, I'm gonna be pissed off. That's too thick. Undercover is really skinny. They're, like really svelte. Alright, this is a janky brella, but whatever. This is an Undercover Brella that's like been in the a windstorm a few too many times. I don't think it has like a wood handle, but I'm gonna give it one anyway. It should have one. Look at what a spy weapon this looks like. It's just a regular umbrella. I way someone would splat me with it. And the tent is not... it doesn't have radial symmetry like the brillas do. It's flat. Or maybe not totally flat, but you know. It's more of a rectangle. I know for sure it's got this X shape. And some sides of it, probably the, these sides, have like netting. Instead of being solid. And I, I swear to god, I saw this on the badge. It's just a stick underneath. And I want to say it's got like a X-Blue green. Alright, Brel's done. Oh boy, stringers. They're kind of complicated, actually. And I like them a lot, so I don't want to mess them up. Let's get the bow shape first. Alright, I'm gonna be putting all kinds of lines through that bow. It's got like such a mechanized sort of a uh, shot system. And then they introduce a new bow finally, or like another new bow. It's gotta be like a straight Japanese Yumi. No mechanical assist, just your inkling strength. It also has to be like taller than them. 
how to make these parts where the arrows fly out not look like nipples. Impossible. Maybe with the rest behind them it will make more sense. The part that you hold on to, the center shaft. And I know it doesn't have the yogurt cup that Reflux has. There's probably some kind of column. When in doubt, I just make the middle of something empty. Or maybe it's got like a bottle somewhere. <laughs> Slap a bottle here. Yeah, it's got that. Actually, that might be right. Arrow supply. I feel like I'm missing some really iconic part of the tri-stringer. Maybe it's got wheels. I know the reflex has wheels. Why do I know the reflex better than one of the weapons I've played the most in the game? That's on like the cover of the game and stuff. Um, I totally know how bows work. I totally took archery in gym class and didn't suck at it at all. Alright, I give up. We're just gonna color it. This for sure has a wood part, even though it's not as woody as the incline. I um, mangled the tri-stringer, the noble tri-stringer. I apologize to myself. Reflux? I definitely know it's got like the wheels on the outside. And then um, a shape kind of like this, maybe. And then definitely the big tank in the middle, which is apparently based on a yogurt. There's a little window on the yogurt, for whatever reason. Definitely has the, like, plunger that I gave to Tri-Stringer. And then here's the thing, I know that there's some more crisscrossing wires than what I've drawn here. Maybe it goes like this. That's all I can think to do. Splatana Stamper first. Wand on Wiper. Stamper has got a little handle on the bottom. I always thought that was cute. I guess based on, like, the kind of, um, desktop stamp thing it is, which I've never seen. Pretty sure like a big gear or something towards the middle. I was drawn gears before on um, Dynamo, so this is only fair that it gets one. Actually, the gear might be inside the sword part. Well, we'll see later. And this also has kind of gears around it. They're the stamps, I guess, from the belt that they're on. Now what the heck goes inside? Uh, I'm resisting the urge to just make it like tank treads and have three wheels in the middle. You know what, that might not be far from what it is. We'll color that part dark so we can't notice how messed up that is. Oh my god, why did I do all these individually? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more like bright <laughs> metallic colors on the real stamper, but I drew the stamper, the incline stamper, before it was even revealed. Alright, Wiper up top, because it's first in our hearts, I guess. Because we all love fighting Wiper players so much and are good at it. Some positive affirmations. Feels right for the pad to like go down below where the holder is. And where is the cool zigzaggy thing of the handle? I want to say it's on the front. One more bit of shading. Actually, we'll just draw the edge. Alright, Wiper. I'm not going to review all of them, mostly the ones that like I wasn't as sure about. Splat Pro. <laughs> wow, look at how like towards the middle of it actually its handle comes down. That's funny. Jet, wow, Jet is so much closer to being the dual sculpture than I ever could have um, anticipated. It really just needs like the other neck. The shoulder rest thing on the S Blast is really like on the very bottom of it. Oh, and I totally forgot the orange. Dynamo's got two circles that like lock into each other for the mechanism. Oh no, Flings is on the other side. Flings is like a lefty roller instead of a righty. Oh, and it's also got a pen clip on the roller part. And look at how skinny the handle is. So many of these are such weird designs. Like what's going on with the big swig? <laughs> what's that handle? Like YouTuber? The um, nozzle on it is like beneath part of the other tube. Kind of funny, it like pokes out of the middle. Yeah, looking at this, these badges, I'm not any clearer on like where the, your inkling holds it. <laughs> because it's on the other side. Ballpoint, oh, I forgot the little push things on ballpoint. That's funny, because I actually had a pen like that. <laughs> My little ladybug apples. I don't know, they're weird. Even looking at them, I like barely know what's supposed to be happening. Stringer, oh my god. Oh, okay, so I just had to like bring the tertiary 
um, tubes all the way back to the handle. That would have helped a little bit. And then it's got a big tube in the middle. All right, woo. That was a lot of drawing. That was like six plus hours of drawing. Thank you guys for watching. Hope that was comfy.